¿No? The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. So, so that's that's IST. Okay. So yeah, let's try writing a simple code here. Now, just to get a little hand on it. So many times when we try writing it, we land up like this. Angular dot module. So my app. That's what I have it. And I, if I have a dependency, I can try taking it. Okay. Now, this is like all our callback functions. Now you put a dot, start doing it. You know, you want another function, do it. Put a dot and callback function. Now, I would say uh, something like this. I'll say a factory. I'll say my factory. Now, my factory has a function. Okay. That, of course, has somebody called as providers or services if you want. But I can have controller as of now. With this context, you can have controller. Controller I have controller, which is basically a function, right? Which takes for sure it has to take one object. Scope. Now from factory, it can take this dependent. Now that's what the job you're gonna do it. All your glue code is here. Okay. So typically, if we were writing, we were doing all this. The first build that skeleton and so on. Now, if you say that, I mean, can I take this factory, put it here, please put it. No, but no problem. Angular knows how to render it. Now, you might be only a factory guy. There's a controller people, there are service providers. Okay. And so on. Here, yeah. you're getting it. Perfect. So, looking at our code, just have a look at this. It also looks a similar one. Angular dot module, no dependencies. There's a dot. Factory is there. Factory has a function. It does something. You can, you could do anything. Now we're gonna re review that a little later. But it does something. And there's a dot. And controller. It can have another controller. Because I can say, okay, my second controller, that's a function. Scope dollar my factory. Perfect. So some code here. So I can have multiple controllers. Then you will have multiple factories. That's wrong. Okay. You can have multiple controller because each controller as of now for our understanding do remember cautiously each controller gets associated to one div You have a div that div is the controller The factors does not fall under your div or anything. They fall at least on the Body tag when I say at least they can even fall under the HTML tag That's how they work Yes, yes getting it Perfect. Okay. So, and my code is pretty straightforward. What we are doing internally is say hello is a function. So, that function returns some value. It is returning it. Okay. It just returns a value. It does not do any fancy thing. Okay. So, let me just copy this. You could also do it with me. I'll copy the HTML code. I'll right click. Copy. And I'll go to Notepad. I'll create a new file, paste it. I'll say save. I'll set this as factory. Factory example dot HTML. Save. Okay. Is getting it perfect. So if if we are there, you know, you you have little more two more people. One is provider and uh, services. We gotta see that they all go hand in hand with 
factories with some changes. Okay. So let's save it and go back to the browser. Factory example. I still this is coming from the first. Th these values are from factory, which is shown. Factory says hello, factory says bye, and all this. Stuff. The controller calls the factory, factory returns it. It only returns a reference. Okay. Just have a look at that. Maybe some changes you could at least change the name. And maybe one more value we can have, or one more function you can have. Say bye. Anyways, we'll, we'll try doing it. We'll have one function here. It's a function. It is a function. It's a JavaScript function. It's a callback function. Okay. I'll say something like say. Mm, semi high is basically a function which takes a text parameter it can take multiple text parameter as well okay now i will say something like return from factory you said a text so maybe what i do is i just put an arrow okay so semi high now who can say hi anybody can say hi so uh, let's consider i have another div maybe you can try doing it together i'll have a div slash div in fact this this factory somebody will write this may be you or your colleague somebody out there so i'll say hey div this time i have ng controller uh, i'm sorry controller i will just say this as new controller there's nothing there's no special name for it perfect new controller so my new controller may say some functions so it, it, it obviously calls something which we have written what we have written something is semi high or semi high factory whatever yes we are we are doing it please do it so at least some cosmetic changes we do it to our program at least to uh, keep us awake <coughs> okay just a small small changes you know one or two lines of change will make up a lot for us Okay, is getting it done with this? So this function you can you can call any glue code here, which we are gonna write it on the controller now. Okay, done. Yes, no, wait, no, yes. Okay, so here I gonna create another controller. The controller I just put a dot. Controller, my controller name. We know that what we have written here, which is called as new controller. I'm gonna copy this controller, put it here. Now that's a function. Now what it takes, it should take a scope object and test factory. Gonna be a little cautious when you write it. What I generally do is I will put this curly braces and finish off that so that I'll miss out, don't miss out with the typo problem. So here I'll say dollar scope dot say new message is equal to test factory dot semi high which takes one parameter I'd say panime. So what is that message? 
say new message i would use say new message is my glue code that's a glue now now what this person and the easiest thing we try, try, try remembering that uh, factory concept you tell me what you want i'll do that for you whatever method you want this will become heavy loaded the test factory over a period of time will be heavy loaded because most of the functions which you wanted for generic has to be defined here only okay i'll copy this the easiest thing is paste it here Is done. Let me just check if it works for me. Perfect. It all works for me. I've got a controller. I've added a factory method, and there is a glue code. Just check if you could get the same. It will be nice. It may not. The, the code doesn't look good actually. It's more of a callback function than that. But they work pretty well. Yeah. That's how the frameworks are built. Is done. Perfect. We, we are getting it. We got a new controller, a method in a factory, and the view part. Maybe the expression R. You can use this fan tag. Call that in the bind. Yeah, the worker. Okay. Lot of curly brackets. We'll move further okay so once we have seen factory a little close observation on the factory you look at this 
the factory entire return would happen okay in that i going to return the value of the factory now that's where the statement goes when declaring factory name it's an injectable argument you will be provided when you say you you are controller okay you will be provided with the value that is returned by invoking the function reference passed to the module factory okay now you have somebody called as providers now providers do a similar job of factory but with little variant the name has changed okay when declaring a provider name as an injectable argument you will be provided with the provider functions which is with dollar get the setter becomes common the getter becomes the returned object the constructor function is instantiated before the getter look at this every time you call the getter the constructor is been invoked just to show you the code give me here it is. okay so here it is that's my provider okay the provider name is called as hello world that's a function perfectly fine and it says this dot default name is name is default something is okay now you see this it started saying something called as this it means a new object is getting constructed we said this dot name and now the reason is very straightforward and also closely look at this you have a getter which returns this object it means some creation has happening you also have a look at the setter the setter sets the value when you say getter it gives you a new object instead okay the provider are the one who provide you and give it to you the factory they only give you the reference they don't give the actual object so the providers they do that and they instantiate an object and entire return value is given the only difference here is your factory gives a reference the provider gives you object okay you want individual object to be maintained yes you can go with a provider you want something very common everybody are trying to share it go with factory factories are typical like singleton the provider They look like singleton. You will have your own copy. Who you are, your controller. Okay. Right. Good. Now, uh, most of it you you don't find much difference here. Okay. You you have a provider Angular dot module and so on. And maybe another way of writing our module. If you just have a look at this, Angular dot module. we are storing it in a variable called as my app the last time what we did is this the same code i could write something like this var app is equal to this app dot factory app dot control is that okay there is another way of writing it is getting it perfect so that's where we go with our providers you have somebody called as uh service no service does a very similar job as whatever uh, uh, provider does and every time entire service is uh, returned they have uh, it's something like this the providers give you a new object only on the getter factories will never give you providers will give you always and the service will give you always okay let me just try writing it here the factory will give you reference is it right that's what we know the next is providers will return the instance on dollar get 
they have a common setter okay every invoke you invoke a setter you will have exclusive setter for yourself okay you can use it only for you now again what is the need of it and so on imagine that something like this uh, as the name says service you are a customer you have a service is it the same service what others have i am a customer you are a customer okay we both have the same service so it should change so it means i should have my own copy okay that that's your service if you look at factory we both should share something common factory provider you invoke it commonly company will give you the provider for that customer you got to understand this now if you if not these three are same they are 99% same the 1% the way out now what difference does it make about 1% it's all the dom tree construction the factory will have only one element imagine that the provider when you say they to have a dom tree invoking the, the dynamic dom tree getting constructed when you invoke the getter on it the services will have the dom tree constructed every time the setter and getter is called that's where that difference is there if not you look at the blog all the things maybe they look very similar they say they are all interused but ideally the usage is in the dom we got to know what to use where if not all the, all these are same there's nothing much uh, change about it's more of a conceptual feature too. right this getting plus maybe in our um, this place somehow it slipped out uh factory the provider <coughs> okay so we saw something called as ng in it ng in it okay can just try reading out this part now my app dot config so they are like configuration objects configuration object is only setting what is set url database path all these things is what you set in the config they don't take any business logic and all okay so by default what i am trying to do is oh you are a provider the name is i mean there's a default name it's a config name now this you try passing it all other things you know maybe the way it works okay yeah. we'll try executing this we we'll just check output can we try doing it quickly so providers i'll copy it right from here till here provider i'll right click copy i'll go to notepad new paste I'll save this providers. Let's say it as dot HTML. Perfect. Providers. Okay. So let's save. Let's go back. And here I have provided. it says hello so i am just trying to construct this yeah look at this we are constructing this say hello say hello should be there somewhere in the hello world the uh, i'm sorry we we got to start from here so first is i look at ng app the app name is called as my app so it will look for do i have anything called as my app yes i have it that's my app and the variable name is called as my app good so there's a controller called as my controller perfect so i should look for my controller my controller will take two parameters now one happened to be the scope which i get it by default with the angular js 
There's something called as hello world. Somebody is passing me hello world. Now who is passing me? The provider. There's a provider by name called as hello world. Good. Now for this by default the name I have given it as uh, default. No, some some name. And there is a getter. The getter name is called as say hello. The say hello will take the uh, instance variable. We are not passing the parameter. We are passing the instance variable, which is with a set name. Okay. You set the name. Where are we setting the name? We are all setting the name in the config. So good thing about provider is you can still configure in the config section. Section. You need not provide all the values here. You give it at the config section, and everything is built for you, and you just have to put it in your glue code. So I'll say scope dot hello, uh, hello world dot say hello. So I have tried creating the array. This I can have any number. So I can say hello world dot say hello. So here you have hello, right? You have services, providers, factories. Only three people. Okay. Just check if you are getting it. Is done. There's a small blog which uh, I have found it over internet and I was just trying to go through. Let's read out a few definitions. Now, this guy is trying to write AngularJS factory versus service versus provider. I'm going to share this link in some time. Now, factory service and provider. Uh, when, you're, when you're using factory, you create an object, add properties to it, then return the same object. When you pass the service into the controller, those properties on the object will now be available in the controller through your factory. That's what your factory basically looks like. The service, it's instantiated with the new keyword. That's the first difference between your factory and service. Because of that, you will add property to the service with something called as this. We always say this. And the service will return this when you pass the service into your controller. Those properties on this will blah blah blah. And providers are only service that you pass into your config. That's a good thing. That's what we have done it just now. We passed the object in the config. Use providers when you want to provide module wide configuration for your service. So you want to provide different options at the module wise, you can use with provider. So you can use something like config and so Okay. Just let me know if you've got any questions there.
is done. We're done. Perfect. So let's move further with one more example. Uh, the next one is your service. So I believe the concepts of service is pretty clear. Mm, we got this return of this and this every time a new object is getting constructed and sent to us. So I'll copy this. Uh, here I go. I'll save this. So this is service. Not HTML. I'll go there. I should still have. these are two instances. Okay. So that's all about your providers and uh, factories and services. Yes, exactly. Right? So we'll move further. Okay. So now we've been trying to pass something like the string value so far. But if I want an object to be passed or array of objects to be passed, I can st still be able to do it. Maybe I want to construct something like a table where there are 10 employees. So each employee will have first name, middle name, last name, and some kind of name. Okay. So just have a look at this. I'm trying to use bootstrap here just for some padding and uh, look and feel nothing special about it now I Would start with something like this. I've got a demo app. I say it as demo app and There's a simple controller which I gonna use it. There's a different little different way of writing the angular code We did not say angular dot module this time. We have a function which is called a simple controller and Scope dot customers. These are few values which I try giving it Okay, which has name and city name and city name and city Okay, now I say demo app, which is your angular module dot controller is this controller name for this function the function name is this. Okay, we can just to show you that even this is okay. We can try doing it now What happens when you try sending it the customers will go the customers when it when they go They look something like this It's basically a big box which you try having which is divided into Two segments. Now the first one will have the name and city. So that will have a name, city. It will have a name, city. Okay. So my glue, what it has to do is it has to extract it. On the verge of extracting, it only gives you this part first. It only does this. So first job is I got to take this and give it When I give it gives you as an object that this object I have to iterate it So I'm, when we iterate I need name separately and city separately. So that's what we're gonna do it. Have a look at this When I give customers I'll iterate this customers uh, Of course, there's a table which is of table type and so on ng repeat every customer in customers filtered by name so there will be a search kind of thing and what I want is in the cast there are two properties one is the name one is the city okay is getting it perfect so now let's go ahead let's try copying that this is basically to show the object so copy this And say show objects. So you can even make your function isolated and map it with the Angular code. So here, here, here the only thing which we are interested in is this part. The line number 29 and 30. That's our interest. All other things are look and feel. All others are looking. This is what we are looking for. 
every table will have a row at each table row i want that results kind of thing and uh, td will show you the value and everything is in the repeat td i'm sorry ng repeat okay is getting it so let me just run this so that's what the names basically look like so maybe if i'm looking for somebody like di it gives me dinesh and kumar the moment i say k it does with that and so on. okay so um, it's pretty simple like filtration kind of thing so here you have input type is text the model is name so what we are doing is we are filtering by name that's what your filter is all right so maybe we can relate now how people were trying to do it in dart and angular good thing is they look really fast you want to write the page which one here yeah huh. this we are showing it this we are showing it for again if not we can do this uh, ng include what we can do is we can initially we'll have that number of characters here if number of characters are zero we will say ng include of nothing if number of character become one you take that plus apply that filter
Now, if you can even get this from the data. That's what it is. Okay, so this is another program. Uh, just like to add the data as well. So show objects. I'll just call it as one. It's the same program. What we have done is the same. There's nothing special about it. Now you have a choice of adding it as well. So I'll say somebody has Rakesh interest. Okay, I should find it. And it's in the sorted order. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of changes what we have done, which is there in the code. I would start again. This part is your uh, bootstrap. There's nothing. There's nothing fancy about it. Now I've got a container class, and there's a controller here, which is called as filter controller. And filtering data and sorting. There are two model elements here. One happened to be the name. One happened to be the city and okay. And Input data is the object name which I gonna pass. So what I do is I'll not pass like name, city, and all. So what we do is we'll give it as input data. So that will have a placeholder as name and uh, uh, city. Now this model, when I click on a button, okay, there's a class called as button. When I click on it, it's a ng click. I click on add customer. There's a function called as add customer which has been invoked. Okay, now I'll say, oh, I have a controller already and customer there are few customers in the scope find for customers yes it is found push name which is scope of input data dot name city is scope dot input data dot city we just have to push it nothing more it's only one line and you don't find anything new here there's nothing new. This is the only new line in your controller. If you compare the previous program and this program, you only change what you find is this line. And maybe here and there, when it comes to look and feel, it's only this. Let's go. Right? Maybe once after this, I can set it to zero. Mm. I can do that. Okay, or you can do that. You can try setting it. I have uh, put Rakesh and Reston. When I click on add customer, the customer is added. The values are not gone. Can we set that to null? Please do that. I'll also do it in a minute. I'll freeze it. I have done that. Okay, so I've added rack is the same, but it's not there. I'll put no. Yes, the data are all, and your filtration is as usual. You know, I'll say Kartika, it happens, and so on. So, like a small uh, application. It's two more lines your program that's your job Yeah. 
value should be taken off. Just two more lines. You cannot get that first. We are able to clear it once after the data is posted. Just two more lines. So here you go. This is what I have added. So dollar scope dot put data dot. The first thing.
and we got faster to Okay, is done. Okay, I I would just skip this program, you know, and just have a look at that. Maybe when you're Fine. It's all about configuration. The value dot config and all. Now I leave it to you. Now 